You can ring Doug's bell. Ring Doug's bell. Doug's bell. Ring Doug's bell. You can ring Doug's bell. Ring Doug's bell. Doug's bell. Ring Doug's bell. Welcome to the Doug Bellcast. And now, here is your host, the star of Ring My Bell, Doug Bell. Welcome to the Doug Bell uh, Bellcast, Doug Bell Podcast. The feedback has been so powerful. Um, like, they're talking like, big uh big big plans and big numbers so thank you to everybody who's like it's been like is so much bigger than anybody expected it's crazy like so you know like i hear like uh, like spotify is like looking you know so we got some co- things cooking um some things on the back burner you know but it's gonna be a, a cool episode tell some uh like uh, like uh it's a cool story you know uh, uh people ask a lot of times about uh i was one people always ask about the famous story i'll start right with it you know um uh, of uh one time i was up the cellar and uh burr uh uh Quinny O'Neill, uh, 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 Kells Bells was there, uh, Richie Voss, everybody was just giving Burr a hard time because he was doing a, uh, a gig on a bus uh, for like uh, Super Bowl tickets or something. And I remember. Like I was at another table, I was just like eating my wings. It's like cool. I don't like to, you know, go over there and like, you know, whatever. You know, I mean, I just kind of hang, and people come talk to me when they want to talk to me. So uh, they were all ripping on Burr, and I was like, you know, laughing, you know, like kind of pointing, like yelling lines out from the other table. And you ask Burr if you see him. It was so funny because I go like. Uh, there was one like uh, I go. Uh, uh, he's on a. He was doing the, the, the show on a bus, and everybody was laughing and teasing. And I, I yelled something about, um, you know, like um, instead of an encore, you're gonna get diesel fumes. It was something that was really funny, and 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 Burr looked back, you know. Um, and he kind of like his hands like that. Like I know, like if you ask him about it, he'll remember it. Uh, it was really funny. Like it was just one of those crazy nights where we're all everybody's just kind of riffing, and uh, everybody's just going, man. It was just like those were nights down there. Um, like I O'Neill tried get he could never get me. Like O'Neill would try. Like I I would come in right, and I would just I like I would sit like I said another table just to kind of like you know be cool in my own space like I don't need all the hoopla and like the you know uh and uh uh, uh Patrice would like I I I I walk in he would just start like you Doug stinks Doug you stink uh and I said something like uh you know like I don't something how I didn't stink but you know, if you think something stinks, you know, uh, you might want to check the back of your pants. But it was the way I said it. It was so funny. Like, it, it was like, like Rock was there, Jerry, uh, uh, yeah, Seinfeld was hanging out. And uh, so he's, Patrice is yelling, like, Doug, you stay. And I hit him with that. It was so crazy. It was like, I was like, you need to check in, into in your pants. I forget how I said it, but it got like, uh, it was funny, man. It was funny. Like, it's one of those things that like, like, you know, we just, we would always just bust each other's chops. 
And that's what it was like it, about, you know, to sell, you just bust each other's chops and everybody's just like, just like, you know, going from the minute you walk in. Uh, uh, I, I, I remember I, I rock one time. I think he got mad at me. I was, I was just like being one of the guys, you know, he can't take it. He couldn't take it, but he walks in and he was with, uh, and he walks in, right. And he walks by and like, I, I'm just like, I'm, and I'm like, I've had a few drinks. I'm just in the mood to like, just cut, like bust chops, you know? So he walks in and I, I just go like, uh, yo, I said like, uh, Pooty Tang was a piece of shit. Like I scream it across the restaurant. And he like looked and everybody got kind of quiet. And I was just like, like that, you know, like, like uh, and I, I, I always had, like I said, I had my bell and I was just like, you know, like, um, and he kind of looked and I, I know he wanted to crack up, but he's, I think he had a, a date with him. He was on a date. She kind of looked um, and I'm like, yeah, she knows, you know, I just kind of like yelled it. And like, I saw somebody, like one of the waitresses like was snickering, like nobody wanted to like get in trouble, but that's how it was, man. I would just kind of go in there and just take over, you know, like that's what it was about. Like you just go in there and just, you, you take over. Like you can't let anybody uh, tell you anything. You just got to take over. Like Seinfeld, when Jerry was there and uh, he was at a table with like Quinny and a few other people, Dude, I walk, I, it was so funny because I, like, I don't, you know me, I don't give a shit. Like, I, I don't care. Like, I'll say anything. Like, like, you don't, you know, you don't get on, like, your own TV show if, you, if you're not going to just say stuff. So I walked over, I had a buck on me, right? <laughs> Picture this, he's sitting there, I'm equating to talk and boom, boom, joiners there. I think uh, Stewart, Johnny Stewart was there. I walk over, right? And I pull a, a buck out of my pocket. I flip it on the table like that. Boom. And I go like, uh, ah, there's my buck, Jerry. You know, you think about it. Like, the, uh, master, the masturbation episode. And, uh, I, 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 it was fun. I didn't realize they were filming. Like they were shooting some type of like an interview or something. All of them were doing it. And, and the guy, I, I, I realized that when like I threw the buck down, I'm like, there's my dollar, Jerry. And, and, uh, somebody yelled, cut. And I was like, dude, that's fucking gold, man. Like, why would you, like, you didn't get it. Like this director didn't get it. Uh, I'm like, you lost a moment there. Like, that's what comedians do, man. Like, that's what we do. We, we, we like just, we, we, we break chops. We come in, you know, like I wasn't trying to steal the show. I was just, you know, that's what we do, man. I, like, you know, uh, it was just what I would do, but like all of those guys, we, we just have so much fun down there. Um, and I would go do a spot like around the corner. There's another club. Cause I didn't like to like, you know, I wasn't trying to upstage anybody at like the cellar, like, you know, cause I had like the show and stuff. Like I didn't want to make anybody like feel bad about what they were doing, you know? Um, but I used to practice like jokes. I would have like a bunch of jokes and I, I would like, when the waitress was taking my order, I would try them out. Like I remember, um, like, remember when year 2000 hit? I was like, uh, uh, the joke was something like, do you remember Y2K? I, I was going, uh, 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 Y2K, I was going like, why not? Something like that. I forget what it was, but it was clever because it was like the whole Y2K thing was crazy. Uh, and this was like 2003. So I was going like, you remember what's Y2K? And I said that to the waitress and she kind of like, she smiled, you know, it was funny. It was really funny. Um, oh man. I remember one night, uh, 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 
Robin, uh, Robin William came in, man. Dude, it was, it was so, everybody was like, I'm, I never get starstruck. I, I was like, whatever, man. He's like a dude. I'm a dude. So um, he comes in, he sits in the corner. Like, like, like all the guys would sit like with the comedians. And I, I didn't sit there because like I didn't, yeah, you know, I don't need like the, the tension or the publicity or anything. So Rob Williams comes in and he sits down. And um, I start, I start doing. Uh, it was so funny. Uh, I I I, uh, I walked over. And I just sat at the table. I was like, "Please, what's, what you know? Like, I'm a comedian. You're a comedian. You know better than me, dude." I even said that. I think when I sat down, because he looked at me. I'm like, "Dude, we're both. I'm a comedian too, man. Like, you know, Doug Bell." And he went, he went like, Ur. And he's like, "No, it's cool. It's cool." And I was like. Uh, I started doing like Miss Doubtfire. I did make a Miss Doubtfire impression in my act. Um, he fucking loved it, dude. He fucking loved it. He was like, uh, I was like, oh dear, I, I can't do it anymore. I haven't done it in so long. But it was like, oh dear, something about like, they have smaller genitals, dear. And, and I, I did like my Miss Doubtfire, but I did, I used to do it really good. Um, and he got like, uh, he got a kick out of it. You know, I could tell he, uh, <laughs> he uh he he uh he smiled you know he was cool and i got like an autograph and stuff i i was like but i'm like i even said to him i'm like normally i don't do this shit dude but i would love like a, a, a autograph um and a, a couple pictures but he wouldn't take pictures but i'm like why dude i'll take one i don't care like you know i'm like we should i'm like dude let's take a couple pictures and he's like, uh, no, no, you know, there's a lot of people. And I'm like, dude, I don't care. That gonna bother me. Like, I'm not fucking, well, I'm not better than these people. I said that to him. I'm like, I'm not better than these fucking people, dude. Um, you know, but whatever. Right? They uh, Then all of a sudden, like, security comes over. And they, like, they were so, they were crazy. Like, we were going to get into it. But we weren't, man. I just was like, well, you know, I had uh, so many, like, crazy times there. Uh, just, I just took over. When I would walk in, I, I just, you know, I took over. Um, I, I get yelled at too because they were like, they, they, the bell was so powerful. I would just do that, you know, like ring the bell and stuff like that. And uh, he was, uh, oh yeah, I said with Robin was there. And I was like, Mrs. Doubtfire, I, Mr. Doubtfire. I was doing like this Mr. Doubtfire thing. <coughs> <coughs> and I remember, uh, and then, and then, uh, and, and Quinny strolls over. Boy, this is gonna now we're gonna go off the, the rails, you know. And uh, he sits down, and I, 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 uh, I, I uh, pretend that I'm holding like I had like a thing in my hand, I think it was a, might have been a phone or something. And I was doing this, I, I did it, I kept doing it. Quinny would look over, you know. Uh, I finally go like that, and uh, it's like five minutes. And he goes, what, what do you, and I got to remote control, you know, um, it's like stuff like that, man. It, it, it was just so funny. And it was just like crazy. Like that's, that's why we all like were a part of it. Uh, but yeah, he, uh, he loved it though. When I did that, the remote control, so every time I see him now, like I would just do the phone, you know, um, I, one time I, I was doing, I was at the another club. We were at some benefit. Man, I don't remember what it was for, but I know everybody had a suit on. I didn't. I'm not wearing, I mean, I was something like this. I'm like, I want one of my here to impress you. Like, I fucking, you know. Um, and I did the phone thing, but I didn't have a phone. I had like, I was like a buffet and I had like a like a dinner roll. So I started doing like the remote control thing. Quinny looks over. You know, he was talking to uh Seinfeld. He just kind of looked at it. But I'm like, tell him what I'm show him what I'm tell him I'm doing. Tell him what I'm doing. Uh and Jerry kind of looked away, like I think he didn't want to laugh. So he looks away and I come over and I'm like, uh, you know, Quinny, tell him what what is this again? And he and and uh, he knew I got him. Like he just knew I had him, you know. And he goes, "It's remote control." Um, 
and Seinfeld, like, I know he didn't want to laugh. Like, his friend he didn't want to crack up. So he just kind of, like, acted like he walked away, like, because he knew he was about to bust a gut. Like, I knew it, you know. Um, but it's just, it's just so crazy being a part of that stuff. But listen, man, thanks to Chip for uh, letting me use this, uh, uh, you know, uh, let me use your Patreon. Uh, uh, and uh, I, I guess, uh, you know, just tell me what celebrities you want to hear stories about because I got some great stories. Like, I'll tell you about anybody you want to know. There's no hold barred now from now on. Uh, uh, pushing forward, you know, I'm just taking over. But keep the ring my bell. The viral campaign for it. it's going to come back crazy. Um, just keep going, man, because it's like there's like a real buzz. Like, the, you know, I, I'm trying to create some chatter, just trying to create some chatter. Um, but anyway, listen, from Doug to you, man, it's, uh, you know, peace, peace, man. You can ring Doug's bell, ring Doug's bell, Doug's bell, ring Doug's bell. You can ring Doug's bell, ring Doug's bell, Doug's bell, ring Doug's bell. Doug's bell.